podcast intro. Hello. Hi. I'm working. You're all good? I'm all good. Technicality-wise, I'm all good. Oh, good. And everything else all good, Is though? You know? Be rattled down there, me? Melbourne. You all right? I'm all right. You all right? You went off air for a bit before. I went off air for a bit and I was slurring like crazy, but it wasn't me. It was because no, of the delay. But it was also during Ricky's big Beyonce news. Did yeah. you hear about that? No, I went and sat in the office while the text fixed it. <gasps> you didn't hear? What is the big Beyonce news? The big or should Beyonce I wait news, and listen to the podcast? Ooh, uh. The big Beyonce news is that uh, she is releasing the Renaissance film. So it's oh, the film. That. How did you know that? Oh, because she's been banging on about it for weeks. She hasn't been banging on about it. This is the first that well, this... you, Okay, okay. You've been banging on about it for weeks. We, Jermaine and I, who are huge Beyonce fans, have been saying there's something coming. What, from and, Hey Jermaine here? And hey, but... It's from Hey Jermaine here. <laughs> and here's <laughs> the thing about you and Jermaine. You only talk about two things, Beyonce or Michael Jackson. And when you oh, said what? something big's coming, yeah. I was I like, well, I think it's going to be Beyonce. <laughs> yeah, well, hopefully it's not the second coming of Michael Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> well, also, can there be is there room for other things? It feels it's just Taylor Swift and Beyonce. Like, well, they're the big yeah, artists they're big. touring but now they've got movies. They'll be finished soon. No, but yeah, I've, true. Ha- have you noticed I've tried to throw in some colour and shade and I like Doja Cat? Yeah. Do you really like Doja Cat? I like um, Bitch and Macau. That's one of my yeah, favourites. I think I might walk down the aisle to that. And I also <laughs> like, um, mm, uh, said what you said, I'd rather be something Famous. instead. Famous. Famous. Famous instead. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I like cool. her because I said what I said. I like her because it feels like she's in on the, a bit of a joke. She's not thinking that she's, you know, doing... The best stuff changing ever. No. the world. <laughs> She's not sassy. changing the world, Doja Cat. Sassy. Although I, really... I did go through a period of confusing Doja Cat and Bibi Rexa. Oh, yeah, yeah like as in last week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just like, there's, there's songs that you go, I th- th- this song in a year I will never remember. This this is not coming back. No, she's like a for the moment artist. Right now. Yeah. Like, okay, so what's your... Now. Yeah. And like, okay, say what... so, say so, what was that, a couple of years ago, three years ago? I still do listen to that in my playlist. Do you? What's yeah. your song we're playing right now that you'll you'll listen to in a year? Hmm, Vampire. Okay. Rush Ricky. by Troye Sivan and Padam. Okay. Yeah. Point of point of no return for me. Thanks, Boo. <laughs> um, Calvin. Calvin's desire is good. Oh yeah, desire. That's good. Calvin, yeah. Uh, what else? Oh, um, oh, we're not playing Waffle House anymore. But I really like that song. <laughs> we're Jonas not playing Brothers. Waffle House anymore. Oh my god. <laughs> I think that I was really just for like, a promo. Probably. <laughs> yeah. Probably. I like, um... Uh... Yeah. Um, enjoy the podcast, guys. It's <laughs> Flame and Monday. TGIM. This is so fun. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel. Lovely, lovely. I've got a bit of Monday-itis. TGIM. Hanging out with friends. So welcome to Monday, guys. Why can't it be Monday every day? Give the people what they want. Oh, yes. Yeah, here we are. Welcome to the start of another week here I on the know. radio. It's a weird start. It because is, some, isn't it? some places are on public holiday. There's yes. no one on the roads here in Sydney. Yes. You had your public but holiday Friday, a little cheeky little grand we final had day. Friday. Holiday. I was still here though. Um, of course. great weekend in Melbourne though, real buzz. I actually reckon the two grand finals were some of the best grand finals I've seen for a long time. Both of them. Last night was incredible. Ma- amazing. I so thought the Broncos had it in the bag. So did everybody. Oh, uh, and then obviously, devastating. And then the Pies getting up over Brisbane on um, on Saturday. Great games. Honestly, both yeah. of them. I was surprised by how many friends are Pies supporters. Or they maybe they just were for the day. Closet Pies supporters? Or have come A lot out of my duck? friends are closet. But um, <laughs> I actually think a lot of your friends are supporters. I'm hearing from a lot of people, potentially one of the most attractive AFL teams at the moment. The Pies. Which might be the why pies. your friends are all into them. Oh. oh well, you know, I'm actually personal friends with Mason Cox from the Pies. Of course He's a lovely are. guy. I shoot him a the text. really tall one, the American one. <laughs> I know I know Mason Cox. <laughs> yeah. Shoot him, shoot him a message and see what he's doing. Is it Mad Monday today? Oh. It'll be there Mad oh. Monday. What's he dressed as? Let's get him in. Let's Can see you what imagine? That would just be mm. debaucherous. 
Because you remember they all like go to go to pubs and stuff and like dress as Gumby and stuff. <laughs> yeah, I think we leave them alone on Magic Monday. I think that's just their day to <laughs> Magic, Magic Monday. Magic Monday is very What's different. What's it called? Just Mad Monday. Monday. Magic Mad Monday. Monday. Oh, Magic oh, Monday. dressed as a dinosaur. See, they still do oh. that. How weird! And they're have... currently at the Sporting Globe in, in Richmond. Oh my gosh, that's across the road from my house. I just would have thought that I they mean, would go nearby. somewhere and just <laughs> not. You know, kind of be in private. That's what I would think. Yeah, no, I think I think they love it. I love getting, love out, getting about out and about the peeps. Yeah, the people. I like. Oh it. my goodness, he's coxzilla. That's what we're hearing. Coxzilla. Oh, <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Get it, Mason. Go, Mace. Oh my gosh. Oh, here's the real pump up. Yeah, I know. Let's swap them around. Let's kick. Let's kick off the show with this one, please. <laughs> this is better. Let's do this. Yeah, Miley's yes. next. Don't worry, Miley's next. Let's kick off a Still Monday nice show. Time. Exactly right. Weekend vibes. It's Desire here on Nova. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel. TGIM. I want you to hold me. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel on Nova. Calvin, Sam Smith, Desire. It's a nicer way to start a Monday. That's more like it. Thank you, Joel. Mad Monday feels. No, you're welcome. Thank you for giving me the confidence (laughs) to do that. You're welcome. You're Swap so an eye on, you know? Miley <laughs> Cyrus, calm up. Don't worry. Got your back, girlfriend. Thanks, well, you've bro. got your cool tennis shirt on today. Yeah, but you I know that I thought it was a UFO <laughs> until I saw the tennis ball down here. Yeah. And you're such a mad tennis fan. The fact that you didn't know that. I know. Well, I was looking at it from this direction, which is quite hard and not very flattering. Yeah, don't do that. What yeah. did you do for the grand final weekend? When you do that. <laughs> I didn't leave my house. I left my house at about 7 p.m. on Saturday to walk girlfriend and get some gelato. Oh. And um, and then I did, did you live in a city or something? Nothing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I had the laziest weekend of all time, and it was delicious. Amazing. But I have quite a few suggestions for movie club in an attempt to take back my reign as movie well, here club we president. go. Okay, are you laying it on us now? Because we are going to talk about the Vegas yeah, Sphere them. in a circle. Let's do it now. Oh, my God. Let's talk about the Vegas Sphere. Because the amazing. Sphere, let me just. You know, sometimes I can be accused of being a little bit cynical and stuff. Yeah. Who I are you? Had... <laughs> That's bloody amazing. <laughs> it's sphere... amazing. I can't stop looking it's at it. It's so good. It's unbelievable. It's a I shame want to do you two are performing in it. In it. Like, I wish it was someone but you two. I always get so confused when he says that because I think he means us two. <laughs> I thought you always meant. No, not you two. Because <laughs> I'm like, we're like, performing it. So Am I not you... pronouncing you two's name correct? No, you they are. were amazing. You are. They are okay. unbelievable and they are exactly what the sphere needed. The sphere yep. just is the most mind-blowing. That must be such a wild sensory overload when you, when you go and watch. So you two have officially officially opened the Sphere in Las Vegas over the weekend. Look, look at this. The whole can thing. Can anyone perform in it? Like, can you, like, reg- like not like you, anyone, Are you going to book it, it out down. for a stand-up show? That'd be sick. No, no, no. Um, don't need any more distractions. I don't know that. But on the inside, um, it's just like... Immer- this immersive video and audio thing. So all wrapped around the entire interior is LED screen. And on the outside as well, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you can't afford a ticket for the inside, which most people can't. Well, because also, <laughs> peop- also, and also people are saying that when, when they're driving on the strip in Vegas, it's quite distracting. And they're... I mean, some idiots oh, are complaining. I mean, about imagine it, the Vegas Strip is pretty distracting. I think Vegas is general. pretty distracting. Yeah, right. <laughs> like, think the I fact would, they got New York City is just on the Strip. Is I pretty would one hundred percent crush the car if I drove past that because mm. I'd be so obsessed with it. But it was a massive show. Um, heaps of celebs were there. Paul McCartney was there. Um, Oprah, LeBron, Oprah. Matt Damon, Jason Bateman, our fave, John Hamm, Brian Cranston. So many people there. Very very cool. Wow. Did I hear some? Let's. Uh, yeah. uh, this is. Um, uh, Bono shouting out to the Beatle in the crowd. Paul McCartney in the house. It's my cover. Oh. Mozart. Oh, Just know that we love you and uh, we've stolen all of your songs. We've stolen all your songs. <laughs> wow. Well, now I feel like my suggestion for movie club's not going to go down as well. Oh, why is it about... Okay. No, it's not about you too. It's called Who Killed Jill Dan- Dando on Netflix. It's a wonderful three oh, I'll write it down. Oh, I feel like I'm not getting my job back. <laughs> oh, that's nice. I hope you... someone recorded it better. Um, no. Like, you know, but, but properly. Like, I have a yes. feeling someone's yeah. going to turn this into a television show or a doco or something. Hopefully. But I can't imagine that you'd be able to actually... You know, there are some things that when you see them, you just can't capture yeah. it in... in yeah. 
film and in like photos. Like Kiss at um, the MCG. Yeah, you just couldn't. Like, you know, you I, couldn't I, quite I actually catch saw that. <laughs> yeah, same. <laughs> I just always have such. Okay, I'm just, I always have such a problem when they film when, when they film these huge, amazing, epic performances. Mm, yes. Shoot around the camera, guys. Yeah. Why are the people walking around with clipboards Don't while Kiss are playing? Like, oh, like but that, yeah. but that's taking lunch orders. Yes. That's the problem with that, that time of the day. I understand it. But I think we met Eskimo Joe performed at the AFL Grand Final once in the crowd, like up in the stadium. Yep. That was cool because there wasn't stuff happening all around them. Yeah, they yeah. can't make it as much of a spectacular, though, when it's up in that yes. section. And I, and also after seeing that, I'm like, I'm so glad the crowded house cancelled. Could you imagine how the snooze fest mm. that would have been? Mm. <laughs> so, can we go the back little, to the, the little fear? kids coming out with them? Sorry, Joel. The little kids when That's they came right. out, that was the most adorable thing I've ever seen. Yeah, in my no, whole who are life. these guys? I who are these guys? Are they, are these, is it what a rocker stand for this? Yeah, but back on the sphere, can someone else hire the sphere? Is the sphere traveling with you too? No, and so. I mean. The band, not the both of you. No, the, the sphere, sphere is move. in Vegas. That's yeah. where that stays. The, uh, oh you two gosh. are doing a 25 show residency there. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, I'm sure someone else will move in. Not, That's not long after Kylie that. to the sphere. Yes. Well, what about this? What, she's got a song on a new album, Vegas High. I know. I love it. Oh, that's one thing I did this weekend listen to this album on repeat. Oh, I haven't listened to it in full yet. Um, why don't we I'll ask do on. Today. 13, 20, 4, 10. Firstly, uh, because of daylight savings, we've lost our lovely Brisbane people, so they can't call in live. But you can get in touch with us still. Um, 13, 20, 4, 10 for anyone else listening, though. What's the best thing that you've ever done in Vegas? Because Vegas is a fun place. Because you hear about Ooh. some bad stories, but not not. That's some ripper me. arguments. Have you? <laughs> yeah, what? across the strip. Hissy, hissy fits? <laughs> no, not hissy fits. I don't have hissy fits. Yeah, you do. 13, 20, 4, 10, uh, the best you a hissy fit. Vegas experience. What's yours? Go for it. Now, here's Marley. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel. On Nova. Thanks, Marv. Young. Oh, see? Mm. We throw it out to the universe and we get some people back. This is so good. Cool. Zach and Ryan ready to go. Um, oh, Zach and Ryan. Zach and Ryan sound like there's two lads, don't they? <laughs> Zach I know, and Ryan sound like they're Vegas. Vegas. Oh, who's coming over? Oh, Zach and Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, yeah. Here we go oh, again. Oh, yeah, that'll end well. <laughs> uh, yes, you two performed uh, at the Sphere. It's a 20-show residency, did you say? It's incredible. Show. If you haven't seen the footage, my yeah, gosh. Yeah, it's everywhere um, on the socials. 25-show mm-hmm. residency you two are doing, and mm-hmm. it's just the most incredible concert venue. Like, whoever came up with this as an idea, I wonder how much it costs. To- Two bill. Two billion. And it's a, oh, that goodness. actually doesn't seem, because there's a, oh, I won't mention the name of it, but there's a certain building in Sydney that I've heard has gone way over budget. And um, Yeah. Hey, okay. that one. Oh, no, 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 I'm not. I'm not mentioning it because I love it. But I'm like, there, <laughs> I'm right that, over that's there. no sphere. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about the fish markets. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay, no, okay. I'm not, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. All right, Zach and Ryan. Oh, buddy, Zach and Ryan. Hey, Zach. How you doing, buddy? Um, best. Hey, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> best. You do sound like a lad. I was right. Let me just put Ryan on with you. Let's so see what happens here um, when Zach and Ryan get together. Is it as troubling as everyone says? All right. Hi, Ryan. Good day, Ryan. How things? Oh, yeah, here oh, we yeah. go. Oh, oh, all yeah. the lads. Oh, Ryan, yeah, Zach, 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 meet Ryan. <laughs> it's Mad Monday, all right. Oh, my God. <laughs> These two. Uh, anyway, oh, um, we'll get back to you. Got indicators going off yeah, in the background. I know, one of you's driving. It's classic Ryan, that is. Yeah. Um, hey, Zach. Hey. Um, what's the best thing that you did in Vegas? I was going to bring you down, uh, Ryan. So you were running it. I went to one of the big gay clubs there and trying to win a hundred dollar bar tab by yeah. doing a underwear competition. Oh, oh how'd you go? Zach, we uh, packing? Came you came, you second. came second. second. I came second, yeah. Did you do the um the like like the models do, the bread down the pants to buff it out a bit? <laughs> Yes, I did. <laughs> oh, you did. Well, isn't that I more did. so? Isn't that more so you don't see, you know, the outline of of everything? Well, is that to make uh, it look bigger? A little bit of both. Yeah, a little bit of both. Bit of both. So, so did you win anything for second place? No, I had people coming wanting to take photos the whole time, though. So. Yeah, you would have won some hearts. <laughs> Surely someone shouted you around a drinks. Uh, my husband did a few times. Okay, yeah. well there you go. There you go. Your husband did. Fun times wow, in what Vegas. happens if Vegas stays in Vegas? <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> um, here's a little bit of um, you two doing Love Me Tender, because obviously Elvis is famous as it gets for Vegas. Yeah. 
Apparently, Bono said Elvis has not left the building. Good little twist, you know. Love me tender, love me true. All my dreams will fail. All right, not as up and about as I thought. Um, <laughs> no. <get> a- <laughs> I mean, love me tender, did you, were you God, really expecting Elton's- love me tender to be <laughs> Elvis? Up and about? get really swollen ankles with all this flying he's doing. I hope he wears what? those Elton. precious, Elton. precious socks. That's Bono. This is Bono. Oh, well. Sing so. <laughs> Oh, my God. Know, Bono's Didn't only... you just say Elton? No. No. Why would I? Did singing I? Singing to Elton? Didn't you say he was singing to Elton? To no, Paul McCartney. Sing... <laughs> oh, well, they all need compression socks. They're all old. And Paul's, Paul's actually, you're right, Paul's out here. Um, our friend Paul met Paul at the Sphere. Did you see that? Paul met yeah, Paul. My mate Paul met Paul at the Sphere. He's got a photo of it. You're crazy. This is actually Well, I hope those Qantas talk. gals have some beautiful oh, compression Paul. socks and slippers to wow. pop on him when he gets on board. Yeah. Paul, Paul's definitely going to need some compression socks yeah, on the flight. Paul's pretty old there. Yeah. Um, McCartney looks great. Sorry, <laughs> Ryan. It's the shadowy lighting, let's just say. Yeah, it's the, right, it's the lighting. Um, Ryan, <laughs> uh, Vegas, Vegas us. What, what did you get up to there? Yeah, so we went over for our honeymoon. And uh, the night before, I managed to uh, break the leg. So <gasps> I pushed around, pushed around all of America in the wheelchair. Oh, oh no. And, uh, oh, you would have yeah, fit right in. Lots of people get around in wheelchairs over there. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, luckily I had it pretty easy. Um, but uh, yeah, when we went down to the strip, um, all of the uh, the workers out in the night were calling me Hot Wheels. Hot Wheels. Oh, nice. Hello, Hot Wheels. <laughs> oh, my God. That that's and so was that the first stop on your honeymoon? Were you going all over the place? Uh, yeah, so we well we started the east and finished in the west. So um, yeah, oh, started those in Florida, airports went so up to New York, on your hot Vegas, wheels. and then drove to Santa Monica. Oh, I love that, oh, Ryan. <laughs> did you put did you put some money through the, the slot machines in the, at the airport when you got off the plane there? Uh, yeah, we did. It's the quickest way to lose fifty bucks. So, yeah, I know, but you, but you have to do it. Like, <laughs> you, have you, to. you have to do it's it. It's like the law. Exactly yeah. right. Yeah. So. Uh, awesome. Thank you, Ryan. I just love that Vegas is a place where it's not frowned upon for adults to walk around the streets with huge oh, drink yes. bottles, like a necklace attached to your oh neck, just gosh. filled with booze. I like my it. ex and I had a screaming match on either side of the strip, deciding where to go for dinner. Oh, John. Like <laughs> screaming. <laughs> Sounds like a wonderful relationship. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we're no longer, no longer together. <laughs> Hello. Thank God it's Monday. TGIM dudes. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel. Driving you home on Nova. No, Randy Newman really hates short people. Short Do you know people. how that song starts? It goes, no. short people got no reason, <laughs> no reason to live. <laughs> what? <laughs> You're like, say what, Randy? <laughs> uh, Randy, get your head checked. <laughs> and he wrote the Toy Story music. <laughs> That's, I was going to say, isn't there a Toy Story connection there? Yes. It must, okay. It's oh, like Randy nice. Newman. It's Randy Newman. <laughs> Um, yeah. Those short oh, people yeah. make lots of money, those toys. Nobody. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Nobody to love. <laughs> I think short people would beg to differ. Well, how's this? This, this bloke doesn't want to be short, right? 29 yeah. year old uh, something. Um, <laughs> he's, in, he's from Colombia. Underwent mm-hmm. one of the world's most painful surgeries to become 10 centimetres taller. Oh, I love these stories. I know, I, I thought you would. <laughs> is it's, that even possible? Yeah, yeah it so is. listen to this. <laughs> the limb lengthening surgery involves <clears throat> cutting the short bone into two segments, mm-hmm. whatever that is. The surgeon okay. will then it's attach a, a synthetic limb lengthening device, such as a rod between the bones. Hey, Rod. Hey, Rod. Hey, Rod. <laughs> Up <high. laughs> <laughs> and then over the course of several months, your body creates new bones Yes, what? to fill the gap. Eventually, the synthetic device is then removed and you're 10 centimetres shorter, shorter. I mean, taller. Is it worth it? Shorter. Oh, my God. You'd be really bummed if no, you No, no, no. Taller, taller, taller. The pain would be outrageous. Oh, no. There you go. There you go. We just hope that everything else... Stays in proportion. I was going to say, yeah. Yeah, what else can you get lengthened? (laughs) I'm actually speaking to that. There's a mailbag that you are going to froth over (laughs) next. It's the weekend. Happy Monday. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel. On Nova. Abel's touching down next month. Now it's October. 
Is he still no, going to be oh, yeah. November? Is he going to be able, or is he has he changed to able yet? I'm so confused. He's is he willing. Still the he's weekend? willing and able to willing perform able. for everybody. That's the Everyone's weekend. down here in these next few months, right? Well, just I'm able and Paul McCartney, Christina, <laughs> oh, Christina, yeah. Yeah, oh, Christina. Post Malone, yeah. Coldplay. <laughs> Only in Perth. I'm so upset. Oh no, you are actually sorry. I'm Why upset. Why do you go? I have, a, I have a show that <laughs> night. I can't do it. And you know, you know the thing that really. Me off about this. Yeah. Do you know why I have a show on on the night of Coldplay, my favourite band in the whole entire world? Why? Because of your friend over here. Your friend over here <laughs> got it, got out his bulldozer bull- and it's a scene roller hey, 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 and came like over and, and said, "Make this happen. Booked, Let's make I, this happen." My my good friend. I booked you some work. What can I say? <gasps> <laughs> I'm so excited to do oh, it. You should be hashtag booked and blessed. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I've got nothing on that weekend. <laughs> hashtag grateful. <laughs> Hang on, are you not part of the gig that Ricky's doing? No, mate. No. no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Put the call Cheeky through, <laughs> double timed it, and now I can't go to Coldplay. Yeah. And our wonderful friends, our wonderful, wonderful friends at Optus invited me to go, and I can't go. No. Well, you could, you could, you know. I mean, I don't want you to, don't want to tell you what you to do, but you could let these other people down if you'd like. I'm not, I'm not that kind of girl. So there you go. Anastasia would say, sing that as well. She's got a great song called "Not That Kind of Girl." It's oh, yeah. my first song I ever sung in front of anyone. Is that right? Really? Yeah. Parents? Uh, I was at a party. It was at my yeah oh, my dad's course. party. Yeah, classic culture. <laughs> yeah, <of course. laughs> it, was it was my dad's party. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. My first song I ever sung live was uh, "Left Outside Alone." <laughs> <laughs> Did you do the accent? Left, left out side of the I'm so annoyed. So annoyed. I did the. Uh... <laughs> Time to check the mailbag. You got mail. What's that little the little the little Indian bit? <laughs> oh, I'm on my head, get a money, honey. That was the first song I ever saw live. Oh, yeah. Um, I'll get in touch, rtj at novafm.com.au. Text us anytime, 0409, rtj, rtj. Or jump on the socials. I, I didn't want to have an Usher week this week. In fact, I don't okay, think we should. we really did bash Usher last week. And speak for yourselves. Rightly so. Mm. Right, I so. But Well, Jono's really summed it up with this quick little message to us um, saying J-Lo had to share it. We're talking about the Super Bowl. But Usher gets a solo. And then death emoji. <laughs> death emoji. <laughs> like the skull and crossbones. Oh, okay. J-Lo I'm surely like... has more hits than Usher. Mm. I would agree with that, but they're not Thank my... Thank you. Yeah, I'd do that. Is. Yeah, they're probably. But I know, look, I agree with Jono. I agree with Jono. J-Lo should have got her own. Absolutely. Shakira's amazing. Shakira's amazing too. More of a fan of J-Lo though, I've got to say. And mm, Same. But I'm still a huge supporter of Usher, so I think he does deserve to have his own one. Well, he's got a couple of months to, you know, well, make some industry friends. Well, no, he'll have Mr. Going. Worldwide will come out, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. Pitbull and his tight pants. Yeah. And um, who else has he Ludicrous. got? Oh, Ludacris. Luda, obviously. That'd be fun. Um, Luda, Little John. Little oh, I John think will it's be around. Lil John. <laughs> no, I call him uh, Will I Am. Hopefully, pops up with that great song. Oh, 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 oh. Unless Will I Am's oh, got an espresso God. commitment, though, he might have an espresso commitment. He might. Yeah. Yeah. Being creative. <laughs> 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 oh, Will I Am. What, what a treat you are. Shakira song. Nice. Yeah, that's one of my favourite. Good reference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the first ad I ever sang live. Pretty sure I saw a video of Jermaine on socials last night doing the Waka Waka. Choreography. Oh, Jermaine's in today. I thought he was going to take Monday off. Yeah, he should have, actually. <laughs> Monday. <laughs> <laughs> I know, because he decided to go out last night. And Did you? For, for 50 hours, even though we're working today. Jermaine. <laughs> Jermaine's on fire, though. And also, I I it was almost like I was there with him because I've seen every video. I've seen video. all the videos. But also, Jermaine and I have been chatting today. We've got 20 minutes until we found out what's going on with Beyonce. There's a big announcement coming at the end of her sh- final show of her tour. Okay. Still no Jermaine, whip, now still no whip though. You're Still on air <laughs> on Nova. Does, do you find that helps you, you know, get a little when you go out? Yeah, like do you go out and say, hey, Jermaine here? Yeah, he did. You know, he, he put did someone you? in a cab. He put someone in a cab yesterday. I'm going to say it. Um, <laughs> put say it. In, I don't know. Put someone in a cab yesterday and said, tune in to Nova. <laughs> <laughs> Bing, bang, bong. Bing, bang. Oh, I love it. 
is what you'll be getting later yeah. if you're lucky. <laughs> <laughs> and also, apparently, you really shit canned me yesterday as well. <laughs> really? Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm, we'll have to hear that later on in the show. Um, let's go. <laughs> keep going, mailbag. I've got an Instagram message from Damon. Do you okay. have a recap, Blackers? I do have a recap. Thanks, oh, Joel. Thanks, sweetie. This is when we last Monday when you were here. <laughs> yeah. We got something that was meant to be a pepperoni pizza. Uh, I want four oh, layers yeah. of pepperoni. Yeah, yeah. And I want a crispy, layers. crispy yeah. pepperoni. Crispy Pop that pep. in the oven seven times mm. until it's crispy. Now, I've got a message from Damon, but mm-hmm. it's from Tony Bologna's, which I'm assuming is a very big pizza chain. Is that and, somewhere um, in, in our vicinity? Marca. It doesn't look oh, like it. This Marica. looks really Moroccan. Yeah, Morocco really, really knows Marica. how to make a pizza. And they said, is this enough yeah. pepperoni for you, Ricky Lee? Mm-hmm. Look at that. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, that's, that's ridiculous. That's the amount of pepperoni I want no, on a pizza. You won't be able to taste oh, the crust. It's got that weird cheesy stuff on no, it. No, but... I hate that too, but it'll probably be delicious. No, that's and they've done it right. They've crisped up the pepperoni in the oven and then they've put it on. Yes. Oh, my God. Like only... One of those pieces oh was on our pizza last week. Yeah. Oh. It's like the only place I really love, like, I only really love bacon in the US too because they really get to they get it. They crisp you like that crispy it. stuff? I don't love, like, if, if I get wet bacon or see-through bacon no, or skinny bacon, bacon but it happens bacon. more than you think. But do you, did, you, I, did you notice that it's only ever streaky bacon in America? They yeah. never have the, the roundy bit. Mm. It's not, not, not a proper bacon. Like it's just that. the fat bit. Yeah, yeah, it freaks them out when they come here. They don't want the meaty bit. No. Streaky bacon. Just streaky only. Where do they put all that other oh, poor I'm bacon? There's plenty of prices they stick <laughs> to that stuff. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're not, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. okay. Oh, oh, and the sauce is pepperoni mm. oil and ranch sauce, if you want. Ranch. Yum. Okay. Ranch yeah. on a pizza. Let's do this. <laughs> oh, my this God. Here we go. Oh, my God. Right? Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Here's my people. Shane. Good old, good old Shane, Shane yeah. Dog, um, has sent an Instagram message saying an elephant up Ricky Lee's alley. And this video, I have seen this, Shane, and this is <laughs> oh, of quite breathtaking. Of course I've seen this. Look mm. at this. Oh, 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 oh. Ah! Ooh, tusk. <laughs> the elephant scratches its own stomach with... His pain. When it goes up, it's like a crook that's going to pull you off stage at like the Apollo <laughs> Theatre or something. Where does it live, though, when it's not out? Because it must live inside. I don't know, because I only ever look at videos where they're out. <laughs> can, Jermaine, can you find a video of... I think, I think we need to know. Can you find a video where... A flaccid. Where it goes. It is touching the ground. Okay, there you go. Thanks for your mail, everybody. His, hey, everybody. his poor girlfriend. <laughs> yeah. Or boyfriend. It's or a 2023 boyfriend. elephant. Yeah, come on, Rick. <laughs> um, up next, the worst photo you've ever taken. Oh we'll hear God, about yes. it. It'll make sense, I promise, after this. Jess and Jason. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel. On Nova. Go, Jess. Go, Jason. Give you love here on Nova. Happy Monday, by the way. Happy Monday. Happy, happy Monday, or Magic Monday, as I call it. Oh, yes. <laughs> 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 um, Third and twenty-four ten. jump on the phone. Tell us about the worst photo you've ever taken. All our callers, because it's Monday, get our bootleg merch. Mm-hmm. So that might be this an incentive a- to get off your bum and give us a call. Yeah. And this isn't actually the phone that I attached to this story. No, I, I did. It's, uh, mm, evident. Um, well, because well, I, It's I, not good for your cause, this, this photo. Oh, please. I A new photo has been taken that allegedly, allegedly shows the Loch Ness Monster. Nessie, one of my best oh, Actually, girlfriends. we've got an opener for you because oh, you okay. keep banging on about it. Let's get back to my girlfriend, Nessie. Uh, back to the lock with you, Nessie. <laughs> well, that's not going to help her. She, that's going <laughs> to... Nessie. Now she's going to be even shyer now that she knows she's got an opener and Nova. Is this? That's the beat. But is Ricky, this, uh, no, is don't this fall the bag for it. Don't fall for it. Playing Amazing Grace? No. Wonderful. Yeah, well, I, I ran around in the, in the last well, break. Oh, good you. Yeah. I'm, so, I'm half, I'm half everything. Okay. So this <laughs> is half? supposed to be Nessie. <laughs> <laughs> Don't yeah, say yeah. this is supposed to be Nessie. She's very, you know, body conscious. Um, the picture shows a black shape breaching the surface of the loch and moving steadily towards... Steadily north against the current. See, she doesn't go with the current. Yeah, she this, goes but, against it. But does this assume that like nothing else is supposed to be in the lock? Like, we get it. It's a lock. There's got to be other stuff living in the it's lock, Nessie's just lock. not a monster. It's Nessie's lock. 
I think if you were outside the lock, you'd go, ooh, don't go into that one. That's Nessie's. Would you pop it? Um, but I what? Would you pop it? <laughs> pop a lock? Would yeah. you lock it and pop it? <laughs> I'd love to meet her because I think she knows that I'm I'm on board. No, but would you pop um, it? You should go. Would, would you, you ever it? go and pop if it? If the station sent me on a fact-finding <laughs> mission to finally find Nessie, oh, I you're, that, you're that committed that... You do live to educate. You're that committed that you just let someone else pay for it. You love it so much. And you wouldn't do well, anything else while you were there. It's a living crisis. I can't fly myself there. And I've got to be on air with you guys. The person who <laughs> oh, took you the managed footage to is... get around um, in between shows. I've, I've, I've heard of you using planes before. The, before. Yeah, but Scotland and Loch Ness is a long way away. Um, the person who took the footage is named Ian or Owen. And she said, oh, okay, maybe neither Ian. of those. Ian. <laughs> What's Ian or Owen? Ian or it's E-O-I-N. Oh. And she said, nobody can say it isn't Nessie. See, listen to Ian Owen, oh, woman oh lady. God. Nobody can say it isn't Nessie. You can't just come out here and say it's not Nessie. Oh, in that case, it's Lars Ulrich from Metallica. <laughs> sure. She also believes reckons. No one can say she it's also, not. Hang on. She also believes reckons <laughs> most of its mass, mass was hidden underwater. Of course, she's a big girl. She doesn't want to be showing off her bits. So, so what is you? that? So it's just the, she's just the tip. That's it's just, just like <laughs> that's her just like popping out for a <gasps> and then back down. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> thank you for your Nessie update. <laughs> Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel on Nova. It's just another bunga here on Nova. Monday afternoon, it's just easing into the week. Good to be here on public holiday in some parts of the country after the last night's grand final. Yes. Mm. Big weekend. Mm-hmm. Huge weekend. <laughs> Huge weekend. And then we can all get ready for cricket season. Yes. You're in oh, my gosh. Body. I cannot wait. Were you, were you and I went to the cricket last year? Little kitties. Come on, Did boy. We? Oh, we went to the tea bash. Oh my the T20, sorry. The T20. <laughs> yes. But is that part of the big bash? <laughs> oh, God, no. It wasn't a part. It was the World Cup. <laughs> Oh, India, Pakistan, wasn't it? <laughs> it was the most incredible atmosphere. What's happened? We've lost Joel. See, oh, no. that's what happens when we talk cricket with Joel. He's pretending, though. Imagine if he was actually just pretending. Yeah, I know. Like you used to on the phone. <laughs> oh, I'm just <laughs> going into a tu- <laughs> 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 on screen. On screen. Let's set the glass. You see what's going okay. on. Okay, I've been told that I'm not allowed to look at my phone. Yes. Today was the last show of Beyonce's Renaissance tour, and there's been heaps of rumors going around about what she's going to announce at the end because there was a countdown set. For the end of the Kansas City show. Right. And we all don't know what it is that's coming. And I, I saw Jermaine's face just before because yeah. he just found out what it is. And I think I'm about to die. Can you please tell me what it is? <sighs> Renaissance. It's a film by Beyonce. It's been it's... announced. It'll be released in cinemas December 1. And we have some of <gasps> the trailer. The goal for this tour was to create a place where oh everyone is free. And no one is judged. Start over, start fresh, create the new. That's what the Renaissance is about. Oh. That was amazing. Oh my god! Wow. I'm, I'm, I don't, yeah, I feel like I could cry again. Yeah. I saw this like a week ago and it was the most life changing experience of my life. Actually, seeing a show like that was. Where did it see that? Was the life changing experience for you this fact you could get drink and food delivered to your seat? Or was <laughs> yeah. it? Um, well, or I was mean, it that was the did? start, right? <laughs> yeah, and then okay. she came out and it got better. Yeah, okay, I understand. Wow, this um, looks insane. December and I love 1. that you're getting a behind Ooh, the scenes okay. look at how it was put together. Oh my we, God, we should all go. So, we, we should go, go. for a work trip. Yes, this is the one time I'll go to the movies. Oh, we have three tickets. Oh, Only three. Oh, my gosh, amazing. Oh my gosh, there's proper okay. footage. I'm looking forward oh to this next doco that's about to drop. Let's have a look at the next glossy, please. Mm-hmm. Oh, Beckham. Yeah, this comes out Wednesday. Oh. oh. Yeah, but the story's not about that. It's about the kiss. Victoria. Have you seen it? No. No. Well, he's David Beckham's caused some controversy after he posted a video with his daughter Harper. This has happened before with these guys. Yeah. People have a go at them and, and have a go at him for kissing his daughter on the lips. Why? Leave people alone. Yeah, Don't I kiss my parents on do. the lips. Yeah. Who's got a problem with this? And also, I, I, I've got a 10-year-old daughter. Harper's yeah. 12. Yeah. I mean, I would probably still like to kiss her on the lips, but she wouldn't want me to. No. <laughs> so I'm amazed that Harper wants David yeah. to, but then that's their thing. 
And is she plugging a product? product? Oh, I can't talk. <laughs> is she plugging a product? What's, What's happening? Th- What's happening to your microphone? I'm going to step out and let the engineer sphere six. Okay. Ah. Okay. Something weird's happening in Joel's <laughs> studio in Melbourne. Um, yeah, um, the kiss on the lip. I mean, I personally, I'm, I'm not a very, very yeah. affectionate person. <laughs> yeah, no, I would this. I would make my my, my skin crawl. Yeah. Uh, if but, David Beckham was your dad, though. Yeah, but no, I kiss yeah, the shit yeah, okay. <laughs> out of him. Okay. Uh, next, was he here? Let's go to this. We were both watching this game today. We were both watching this game today. This is Taylor um, Swift. So she, Taylor Swift, is dating uh, Kel- Kelsey. Yeah. James, is that his name? Travis. Travis Kels or Kelsey from the uh, Kels. Kansas City Chiefs. Yeah. Um, who were playing? Were they playing the Giants today? Was the that the Jets. game? The Jets. Um, and they lost. But I don't know what. The Jets lost. I don't know what this is. She no. was at the game. Yeah. Um, and Hugh Jackman was there, Blake Lively, Ryan Reynolds, Sophie Turner was there. Yep. Um, Sabrina wow. Carpenter. So. Sabrina Carpenter. She's a very, very big uh, country artist, I oh, think. Oh, okay. And then Sean Levy. Oh, well, okay. We really dropped off with the names. And also, um, if you, I feel like if you like NFL, yeah. you and I were watching it, yeah. you should watch Touchdown. It's really good. I will watch Touchdown. We just finished it. Okay, I'll watch Touchdown. Yeah. And last, Glossy here, what's happening? Uh, this is Drake. That is Drake. Um, is this, you know this, is this about uh, him going to the, to the Rippers? Because I saw a story of him um, taking a, a, a huge uh, plastic box. I think it was about a couple of hundred thousand dollars of notes in there at the, at the Rippers of cash. Yes, it was cash. Wow. How much? You know, in a bucket? In a bucket, 200 grand. 250,000 bucks in a bucket. About to make in it a rain. Bucket. Go, Drake. We'll uh, get Joel back online after the news, hopefully. And we'll see you for the next hour. Gremlins. Love it. Love this song. Time. Boom, light it up, party time. Yes. TGIM. Crank it. Thank God it's Monday. Whoa. Monday looks good on you. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel. TGIM, guys. Okay, present. Hello. Hello. We got present. Joel Tracy. Oh, I yes, we got I'm you back. back. Good stuff. I had to step out because I was hearing myself about three seconds behind and oh I couldn't. Goodness. It sounded like I was having a little bleed. Yeah, it did. Um, yeah. Did you think it was, was it funny? Three, <laughs> three seconds behind was extra funny. <laughs> oh, it was so funny. <laughs> um, big second hour of the show. No, not really, but just like we're going to be here. No, really. We're here. Really. It's going to be huge. Uh, really, what are you looking forward to, Joel? I've got, um, I'm going to talk about wedgies, like an old school wedgie that yes. happened at Disneyland. Oh, the worst. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm going to talk about bed, bu- bed bugs. Beg, I can't even beg, beg yeah, beg bugs. You know those <laughs> ones that beg on the straight? Um, <laughs> oh, my God. Let's play Doja Cat. Let's regroup. And then I next. love Doja Cat. This will make me feel yeah. better. We'll do the wedgies. Yeah. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel on Nova. Just painting the town red on a Monday afternoon. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel. Thanks to our good mates at Shell V Power. Just, oh, just good. Yeah, just good. It's good Monday fun. I yes. realised Shell V Power is where I get my ice my ice bath every day. Where the bloke must think I'm having a house party yeah. every afternoon, <laughs> or yeah. just an ice bath. Yeah, that's <laughs> why I'm so glad that ice baths it. weren't very big over COVID. Because I imagine having to to explain that I'm not having a party at COVID. Oh, I'm yeah. not having an ice bath. I'm like, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this looks dodgy, but it's not. Yeah, it's definitely not. Okay, good, good, good. Um, let's talk about suing for just ridiculous things. Okay, yeah. 13, 24, 10. Oh, we're, we're not that litigious here, thankfully. No. Uh, but in America, no. they love to sue. Oh, they love They it. love to sue. They love and, um, to sue. Or did you ever get an epic wedgie? Because this is a pretty oh, yeah. epic wedgie. I've definitely had one of those. 13, 24, 10 gives call epic wedgies or suing for little stuff. Really well, covering all bases. Yeah, a woman is suing Walt Disney World in Orlando, you know, tiny company, um, Florida, for fifty thousand mm-hmm. dollars after she claimed to have received an injurious wedgie while celebrating her thirtieth birthday. Yeah, wedgie in my booty, feeling tight. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How good is that? So the incident happened on the Typhoon Lagoon water water slide, mm-hmm. which Disney, sounds fun. Disney World is great. Like it's got it's so much massive more. one, right? With Epcot yeah. and all that. It's not yeah. the ridge, obviously, but it's in it's Anaheim. Unreal. 
Yeah. It's so this fun. slide looks really fun. Is this the one it, that she got the mega wedge from? Yeah. So she said while she was going down down the Typhoon Lagoon water oh, slide, it bump. caused her clothing to be painfully forced between her legs <laughs> yeah. and for water to be... Oh, this is hectic. And for water to be violently forced inside her. Um, <laughs> after the incident, she was transported to a hospital by ambulance for treatment. Ow, gee. What happens? Humunga Cowabunga. That is a name. What happens when water gets forcefully, like, how does that? I imagine I'll, it's I'll, not very pleasant. I'll give you a hint because this has happened to me. Mm-hmm. On, I think it was called the Double Screamer at Wet n Wild. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. It doesn't feel very nice. Really? It hurts a lot. Yeah, well, actually, I could relate because <laughs> I have done a coffee colonic, and <laughs> I can imagine it's a bit th- similar. It's quite painful because just everything just gets like rammed up there. They're yeah. right. <laughs> it's not right. I know. <laughs> then, and what was supposed to be a fun little slippery dip is now ow. Yes. Well, that, but the, but, then, but then, then on the flip side, when you go to like <laughs> parties and stuff, and I'm like, dude, you're, you've been on that jet for too long. <laughs> 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 like clearly, some oh, some people fi- yeah, find some people it are pleasurable. enjoying themselves too much. Some people love the jets. It's like when you oh, put sorry. your phone on vibrate, and then you say for me to call you over and over and over. And you go, I won't answer. I won't answer. Yeah, but just yeah. keep calling. Yeah, yeah. But only three times a week. So we could act into a nice little rhythm. Oh, you guys are cute. Yeah, thirty twenty four ten. If you've got a little epic word, do you want to share with us? Give us a yell, or if you've, you know, sued for something silly. Who'd you sue? Who'd you sue? After Ed. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel on Nova. English girl in an American town. Boom. Because people travel now. They do. English girl in an American town. Yeah, I get it. That's fine. Wow. He <laughs> loves songs about places. Huh? I like his song Barcelona. That's one of my favourites of his. Galway girl, obviously. Galway girl. Really? That's a place. Yep. Was it? I couldn't get girl, Galway girl on Joel Jive and I thought it was dishwasher girl or something. No. Remember that? No. That was about three years ago. And wasn't the girl, wasn't the Galway girl in the film clip Cersei? Oh, Cersei. Cersei Lannister? No. Um, oh. The actress? Cersei. 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 Cersei Ronan. Oh. Try and spell. Oh, my God. I thought it was the Queen of Westeros. Is there a V in it? Maybe. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, how much do you reckon Ed Sheeran, because um, you know how he's got his company, Ed Sheeran Limited? No. Yeah. Creative yeah. name. Oh. Ed Sheeran Limited. 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 So he paid, he paid himself uh, this, the, this is in the sun, to, uh, the sun today, yep. sorry for the weekend, mm. Ed Sheeran Limited in pounds. How, how much do you reckon Ed made? Ed he made? personally paid himself from his company. Yeah. 500,000 pounds. Nope. Five higher. million pounds. Higher, higher. 50 Ten million. million pounds. Higher. Really? Because I than... thought he's the sort of guy that would be investing it back into the company. Point two. Wow. Oh. Yeah. Not Get a bad it, hey day. 65,000 pounds a day. Oh. Wow. <laughs> hey <Hey-o. laughs> But you're on, isn't it, Rick? Pretty much. That's why you can't go to Coldplay because you're working. <laughs> Gotta keep the bosses happy. I feel like I'm your pimp. So upset. <laughs> You've ruined my whole year. You really have. Black has booked gigs for me as well. And he's just my semi manager. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Semi by the sea. <laughs> no, yeah, do I have to do I have to give you a semi. um do I have to give you a cut of this? Well, it would be nice. No. Like I got a family to support. I'll take you out for dinner. <laughs> okay. oh, that's worth more. <laughs> Have you seen the way he drinks? Hey, <laughs> shut up, you two. Hey, this, I, I had this ready because we we're talking about that water slide, but no one called oh, out yeah. their wedgies. So here's a bit yes. of Miley. And we'll be back with those bed bugs. They're taking oh. over a certain part of Europe. Can't believe no one called about my wedgie story. <laughs> Ricky Lee, Tim, and Joel. It's been Monday AF. TGIF. Stick a fork and meat. I'm done. Woo! Thank God it's Monday. Oh, thank you, young blood. Yes, midnight oil. Hey, um, I don't think, and believe me, I've slept in some places. Yeah. <laughs> that I have ever experienced or seen a bed bug. No, me neither. No, our Gemma experienced bed bugs. That's in right. Sydney last year, remember? Um, and she had bites all over her body. Well, oh, so she says. 
Oh, love bites. What do bed bugs mm. give you hickeys? Hey, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, Darcy his name? He used to be on the uh, in Dan's chair. Yeah. Not on his bum with an ACL injury. I remember Darcy. Yeah, Darcy. Um, I love Darcy. Was doing was put up in a hotel when we were doing our show from London for the royal wedding. Yeah. Yeah. Was put up in a hotel because of the time difference. Yeah. And. <laughs> It was in the hotel was infested with them. Oh, no. Yeah. Is it from not washing your sheets enough? Is it as basic as that? I think maybe. Well, how's this? They've taken over Paris. Yes, Gay Paris. <gasps> oh no. my God! The bed bugs in Paris, lame. Yeah. How do they? Yeah. How do they? City of Romance. Take over. <laughs> I don't yeah, know. They've infested bites. places like the subway, uh, movie theaters, the airport. Um, the the airport? Paris, Where are they going? Paris deputy mayor says no one is safe. No one is safe. <laughs> Whoa, that's that's hectic. That's um so gross. scary language. No one is safe. Mm. Apparently, it doesn't matter. Or oh, they can infest regardless yeah. of how clean it is. Oh no, bed bugs. Where do you pick them up? Where do they come from? If anyone knows anything about bed bugs, you can call <gasps> us if you want. Thirteen twenty four ten. But they're all in Paris now, so we're safe. We're good <laughs> they're all in Paris. Now. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel on Nova. Okay, thank you, Dua Lipa. It's Dua. Um, that laugh that you just came off then, that sounded like um, that's Scott Morrison. <laughs> thank you. Thanks, okay. <laughs> that I did. Yeah, yeah, you just sounded like ScoMo. <laughs> yeah, all right, thanks, okay. You just sounded like ScoMo. <laughs> thanks, thanks, guys. Uh, okay, thanks, everyone. Yes, you, that, yes, was, uh, that was you just really? then. Yes. Okay, thanks, Dua Lipa. Okay, thanks, Dua. Thank you, mate. <laughs> thanks, Dua Lipa. Thank you, Dua. We'll take it from here if that's okay. <laughs> um, now, Peter, we're just talking about uh, Paris is infected with bed bugs. They're not happy about it. They're like, no, 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 no. Um, yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, I had a couple that came in from overseas and they, um, I gave them or they let them rent my property mm-hmm. and... Um, they went to get some furniture, and on the way out there, they found the mattress that was somebody was putting out in the street. So they grabbed that rather than going doing their shopping. Yep. Uh, and came home, put it in the bedroom. Woke up the next morning, they were bitten. They blamed the flat. So the the bedroom you offered them was unfurnished. Is that correct? Yes, it was unfurnished. They were brand new units. And they were brand new oh, units. Oh, I see. Sorry. And they told me they were going to go and purchase the furniture. Yep. And you should have seen them, mate. They and they couldn't sleep the night, but their bodies, it was just like like a festering, like, oh. I've never seen malaria. Wow. But I, 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 I've never seen malaria, but I've never seen malaria. It looked like it, you know, oh, gross. Absolutely yep. gross. Right. Thank oh, you, Peter. Oh, Peter, that That's sounds it. awful. You're gross. A bit of trauma there, Peter. <laughs> you disgust. <laughs> Amazing. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel. On Nova. You by seven John Cook and Lado, that is seven here on Nova. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel. You can win a thousand bucks of my muscle chef with Smallsy. That's they're the rappers of the stuff Ooh, I see in the bins here all the time. People love that stuff. Deal. They're really good. And Ricky and I are on record as I think they're the best um sort of microwave. Well they are everywhere. I see them all over the place. The convenience is just wonderful. Really? Mm, yeah. Yummy, what would you what delicious. could you have? What would you have? You could have a beef musselman, or you could have a like chicken and veg. Help me, Ricky. Um, you could have. Hang on, I still think there's something wrong with my headphones. So what? Ricky, help me! <laughs> um, and I've got, they've got like, like? Um, curries, and they've got curries. stir fries, and yeah, there's right. heaps, of, heaps of different stuff. Yeah, great. Mm. Nice, it's nice when you can't be bothered cooking. Protein. Yeah, good stuff. Yeah. Um, have you ever gotten your sibling in trouble? Because this story is <laughs> outrageous. I love this so much. Yeah. A guy from Chicago was wrongly jailed for 20 years and was yes. only just released from prison after his twin brother stepped up and finally fessed up to the murder. The murder. After 20 years. Hang on, he knew. He knew <laughs> and he let his brother rot in jail for 20 years before finally confessing. Oh, he'll be so pissed off when he gets right? out. <laughs> oh, my God. So he was convicted of a 2003 murder that involved firing a gun into a group of people, killing one and injuring another. However... That seems reckless. Reckless. In 2013, his identical twin brother wrote a letter saying that he was the one that fired the weapon. But let him... So it let took him, him 20 years to feel guilt. Well, I'd just give up by that point and be like, oh, dude, it's your shit. Right? Yeah. Do you, yeah. boo? Have fun. Yeah. 
Because he would have made friends by then in prison. <laughs> oh, he'd be I mean, part of like a load. He'd probably have a job in prison. He'd have a wonderful little life in there. He's ready. Mm. I've seen Oz. Like people, half the population love prison. The other half don't. I'm talking yeah. about the prison population. Yeah. You know, some people really make it work for them. Yeah. Well, you don't really have a choice, right? Yeah. Yeah. You're kind of I in there. Well, You've got to make the well, best of it. you get a fun a... job in the kitchen. Great. Yeah, Not oh, all of them. like I... in Orange is the New Black, you could be the the, the red-headed lady head of the kitchen. One of the guys in Oz, though, in the kitchen didn't like one of the guys, oh. so started crushing up glass and putting it in his food. Ah. And I'm like, oh. shouldn't there be someone monitoring that? I think <laughs> I've had think. food like that at, at Pacific Fair, <laughs> <laughs> unintentionally. What? I remember I went to a restaurant Good old Gold Coast. in Pacific yeah. Fair, yeah. and I said to the waiter, um, No, I'm that's sorry, fancy but... now, that wouldn't happen. No, oh, I was there on the weekend. Like two years ago. No, I was there on the weekend. Pack well, fair, don't go to this serious? place. Pack fair's amazing. And I said, I'm Pack sorry, there's a, little, there's a little bit of plate in my fried rice. And like <gasps> yeah. half the plate had chipped off and had like made its way through its fried rice. And they apologised but still charged <laughs> us for it. Oh, my goodness. They could have at least given you a free meal. You could have choked on that plate. I ate glass once. Oh, no. On purpose? Um, well, no, because I, 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 I've been <laughs> to Corona so aggressively. Yep. Thirsty. <laughs> thirsty, you know. Doesn't surprise must me. Must have been the weekend. I just really must eager. Hot. Mm, um, special event. Yeah, special event. You know, birthday, birthday, Christmas, one yeah, of those. New things. Year. Yeah. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> "What's that?" It's like, "Oh, that's the top of my beer." Oh, you like, pushed through oh, though. Pushed through. I was fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you finish it? Didn't you? The beer. Yeah, I tipped it in a glass. Oh, you're crazy. I would have thought that in jail, though, like there are some really, 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 really bad guys. Like oh, he's really? in for murder. Yeah. Is that what you're uh, <laughs> He's in for murder. <laughs> Good stuff. I would just imagine that those kinds of people shouldn't be trusted to do like kitchen jobs. That's what I'm saying. They should not be. No, I, well, I feel like not. I would have thought that they're locked up forever, not yes. allowed to even leave their room. I would I'd feel... want to be on the steam iron like in Wentworth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would feel that because don't they say something like uh, it costs like $200,000 a year to keep a, a prisoner, like, you know, like yeah. to taxpayers yeah. and other stuff? Surely mm. just employ some, like, some actual Stop. chefs. <laughs> but who would actually oh God, want like to apply for I mean, I Get a rock pool in there and a no yes. and they'll be happy as get, Larry. Yeah, yes, get Neil right. Perry in there cooking up some steak. Like, I well, think that's with surely... that ponytail, oh. I'll be surprised. <laughs> surely there's companies that are like they, they provide foods for prisons. I don't think I don't I don't reckon that's a real thing to have the ma- inmates making the food. <sighs> Muscle chef. Oh they can't <laughs> wipe all their meals. <laughs> okay, thanks everyone. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel on Nova. Thank you, Selena. What were the kids that you ran into over the weekend? I saw the cutest little girls. I was in I was in the grocery store getting some stuff on Friday night, mm-hmm. and mm. I saw these gorgeous little girls. This this song was playing on the on the radio in the shop, and I just walked past them and heard them singing, "I'll be a silver spoon, I'll be <laughs> a silver spoon." And I thought it was the oh, cutest thing in the so whole cute. entire world because I'm really getting into it. It was yeah. adorable. <laughs> Because single soon makes no sense. No. <laughs> no, that song still got me confused. Actually, um, on your Friday night um, supermarket shop, is yep. that where you got that truffle salami from? Yeah. Okay. Good choice, right? Did you guys have some truffle salami? Over we there? did. And well, I had to get some snacks for my piggies. little friend because we had a little catch up at my house. And also, um, Miguel's Miguel's chorizo. The spicy chorizo uh, salami Chari stuff. Is a... It's so good. Is it available everywhere? In Woolies, I think. Well, oh, I'm name well, drop. Name drop. I just know because that's where I get it. It's one of my favourites. And the actual chorizo, not the sliced mm-hmm. one, the actual chorizo mm-hmm. that you pop on the pan and you yeah, sizzle yeah. up. Oh my God. You know, really when chorizo them. started being um, became really popular. Yeah. Oh my God. I just ate one raw because I oh. assumed that you don't cook them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think it doesn't taste yeah. right. No, you definitely Spicy and chewy. No, that's the only one that I like. The ones that any of the other, like the delis in, mm. in, like, in the grocery yeah, yeah, yeah. store. Of course, there's yeah. other wonderful ones, <laughs> yeah, but that's yeah. my favourite one. Okay. Oh, like the Love legit it. ones. Yeah. The legit ones. Yeah, good stuff. Um, Let's just check in with what happened on Nova <laughs> Sunday night. All we hear is Bing, bang, bong. Radio Gaga. Sunday night. Uh uh-uh. uh. Where are you going? <laughs> Hey, it's Jemaine here. Sunday night. Uh, uh, where you going? The hot shift. And I think you got your four hours back, didn't you, last night? Yes. Oh, that was a long Ooh, one. Long shift. You exhausted today, Jemaine. No wonder your voice is a bit croaky today. And covering a lot of grand, NRL grand final stuff, you would have been on air for a, a lot of that big comeback. Would have been great. No. People would have been turning, tuning into you to know the result. That's right. 
Jermaine here because hey. we go to get your NRL yeah. info. That's right. <laughs> uh, all right, so Friday afternoon, um, we slip it in. We just give him some suggestions. We slip suggestions. it in with Jermaine. I want you to slip it in. This was Ricky. Nippity boppity boo, Nova. I love you, <laughs> Jermaine here. <laughs> <laughs> right. Bippity boppity boo. Nova, I love you. <laughs> Nonstop hits tonight here on Nova. It's Jermaine here. Yay! Yeah. And, well and I do have to say I was a bit stuck, so that was actually a Joel suggestion. Thank you very much, yeah. Joel. I've right. got tons up my sleeve. Okay. Well, this was Joel. <laughs> What a weekend, NRL, AFL, and I am here to make you LOL. <laughs> Woo, what a weekend, AFL, the NRL, and I'm here to make you LOL. It's Jermaine here. It's Jermaine yes, here. Jermaine. Yeah. I am here as a parent of writer. Now, mine was a little bit more complicated. Okay. It's certainly a lot longer. And you so wanted it real serious, didn't you? I did, yeah. And so do you ever wonder why? This music gets you high. <laughs> it takes you on a ride. Feel it when your body starts to rock. <laughs> Baby, you can't stop. And the music is all you've got. <laughs> and Nova! <laughs> oh, Nova, that's right. I'm okay. excited to hear this. Right now, do you ever wonder why this music gets you high? It takes you on a ride. Feel it when your body starts to rock. But baby, you can't stop. And the music's all you got. This must be. Guy Sebastian, I chose good here on Nova. Yeah. 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 People must have thought you were on. Losing your mind. Oh, this is where it came from. Amazing. Oh, this is good. All right, well done. Jermaine here Sunday night. Am I right? <laughs> so uh, enjoy your Monday night. We're back tomorrow. Ugh, cheese days. We got the gift, the melody, we're gonna bring it till the end. Come on.